What's up, everyone? Welcome to 45 Minutes of Noise, a fortnightly show including average music discussion taking place within the average amount of time it takes to listen to an, epi- to an album. Uh, this is episode two, and I'm your host slash your boy, Chris Pugh, and I'm joined by a very good friend, I'm Mr. Nicholas himself, Samuel Lewis. Sam, on an incredibly wet Friday evening, how are we? We're well, decidedly less cynical. Friday, oh. um, not a download, so therefore apparently mm. not swimming between bands. Yeah. Um, and just figuring that whole mess out. Um, chilling, all good. Mate, how could we not be chilling and all good when tomorrow we are going to see Foo Fighters for the first time and we're going to see them together? It's the first time you've seen them as well, isn't it? Yes, it's the oh. first time I've seen any Foo Fighters related thing ever, like including Dave Grohl and his own and stuff. There are rumours, by the way. Oh. Because um, Dave Grohl likes a guest. Oh. And, he's, and his daughters were spotted um, at the Liam Gallagher gig. In the same city. Oh. The social media is alive with the whisperings. Because he lo- he loves he loves he loves a he loves a, a come on and let's do a random cover, doesn't he? Our Dave? Yeah, yeah. He does, yeah. Quick thank you uh to supporters of noise, uh Liquid Death, who mur- who continue to murder our thirst on a daily basis. Uh go and check that, uh, them out. They're, but I'll be honest, seriously, I don't think I've ever tasted water as good as this. Like, is is it no, not absurd, Sam? Is it not absurd? It's sensational. It's um, it's so good. I take them to work now, and I actually um get is that a beer? Question. Yeah. Fourteen times a day, and I'm prepared to deal with that because Alps water with a skull on the front is exactly the kind of liquid that I need. Yeah, and so, it is genuinely which... like the the best. Ta- I don't know. Whether, I don't know how they've done this, or whether it's because it's in a can, keeps it fresh or something. It is legitimately the best tasting water I've ever had in my life. Uh, so, a big yeah, shout class. out to uh, Liquid Death. Please, please uh, check them out. The best way to support is by subscribing on YouTube or following slash liking on whichever podcast service you use. And please leave a five star rating. Really helps to get the word around. About forty five minutes of noise again, only in episode two. Uh, you can follow us on Twitter at Noise Podcast. We're going to close off the show with Foreign Hands, What's Left Unsaid. It's out on June 21st via Sharp Tone Records, one of my favourite record labels. Uh, it's a, They're the Pennsylvania meets Delaware hardcore slash metalcore. Uh, it's their debut album, and it must be said, they're off to a great start for me. Uh, I have to make that clear now. Um, I'd never heard of them before. Again, one of the reasons why I love doing this, this show, two bands here that I just never listened to previously in Earth Town 9 and Foreign Hands. Sam, you mentioned that, I mean, I, I thought, oh, God, Sam's going to really like Earth Tone 9. And you mentioned you liked this even more. Uh, Sam, let's go. Uh, foreign Hands, what's left unsaid? Um, This sounds like a little bit like if you drop Knock Loose in Sheffield in like 2005. Yeah. And you just sort of like, in, like inspired them with a few more like metalcore notes and and a few more extra bits of musicianship because this is um this is like uh like hardcore plus for me so like for me for me i'm not i, I don't dip into hardcore as regularly or as enjoyably as you um for, for me i could take i could take it in in sort of spurts but the minute you take hardcore as your blueprint and you just start sprinkling yeah. some extra little bit of seasoning with a little bit of guitar work and a few pinch harmonics and a change of tempo here and a black metal cadence there and a little bit of a guitar solo and an extended, I'm like, give me all of that. <laughs> yeah. Like I'm, I'm, I, I am one thousand percent in because of a just as a as a new band and, and and I'm the comparison person, but like as I, as I. As I go along, I was like, oh, okay. Sounds a little bit like a really heavy metalcore Alexis on fire here. Oh, okay. At moments, this could be like really early knock loose here. Oh, okay. There's bits of this that sound like early suicide silence and very, very early bring me the horizon, like pre can't you blessings bring me the horizon when they were on like little Koran compilations and stuff in like 2007. Um, and I was like, there's a lot, there's a lot to like here. There's a, there's a lot to like. Um, there's the bits on on the opening. I was like, "Is this dying wish? Is this?" Yeah, I loved. You know, I loved that. Is yeah, this employed then... to serve like yeah, yeah. Th- those kind of those kind of bands. And I was just really, really impressed with um, you kind of uh, it, it expected intensity is like the path of the course in metal. Do you know what I mean? Like yeah. it's like saying that like a footballer's like athletic. Like do you know what I mean? It's kind yeah. of what you anticipate. 
But what 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 was it? What was impressive here? Was it was it again? It's the it's the flitting between metalcore tropes, thrash tropes, hardcore stylings, changing the tempo and the style, flitting in between, and also also remembering that there's a listener who doesn't want to hear exactly the same tonality and exactly the same rhythm and exactly the same melody. And there's an and, and there's a there's a an urgency within the song that it seems to feel itself of oh we need to change now. eight bars of this we need to move on to a new idea this is getting Yeah. a, you know there's a danger to getting repetitive and 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 that's that's terrific um with the first two tracks i was like this is this is great um my favorite track i think was god under fingernails which i just thought was excellent uh nice leader the track snaky slithery riff violent and misanthropic at the same time k
Yeah, I, I that was that. a really nice touch. That was. I thought that was really cool. Really enjoyed that. I mean, it might actually be uh, an issue with the stream that we received. Actually, I'm thinking about it now. But if it wasn't, it was definitely a really, really nice touch. Um, it just kind of blends itself into the next track wonderfully. Uh, you mentioned the adversity spitting image as well, and that's where I got the big kind of alpha wolf vibes. Um until the sun fades has got this beautiful lead riff that swings back into the breakdown and it's a real something special there's that real chest beat with a chorus as well um to, uh, towards the climax of the song the background lead vocals are echoed and it's really really nice works beautifully there's a dual vocal climax on until the sun fades as well which is just absurd yeah mate this album is just a laundry list of the things i enjoy about modern hardcore and modern metalcore and if i didn't know who foreign hands were before i do now like i, I am paying attention to this band sir like that the, yeah you mentioned you're in and and count me alongside i'm in yeah i completely agree this is an exciting debut and um, and again it's worth noting that um within the the confines of the genre and the confines of the industry um, this sounds different as well. This sounds pretty refreshing to me. Maybe maybe it's because I've spent a few months not podcasting and not sort of wading through as much, and maybe that's by default and stuff. But this doesn't sound like every other hardcore debut I've heard over the last two to three to four years. There is there is something that sets it apart, and it does have its own sort of unique sort of snowflake kind of quality, individuality kind of thing. And and that's and that's something to be um, a, a, a admired or ready to, to sort of pick up on that this early. So I, I agree with you. I'm also in. Looking forward to the future. That's where we're going to leave off episode two of 45 Minutes of Noise. I do believe that we were actually within the 45 minute time frame this week, Sam. To my first delight. Time, first time ever. Yeah, first, time time ever. Time, yeah. first time ever we achieved. I'm actually quite proud of us. Um, so uh, for, uh, again, we just want to remind you a big thank you to Liquid Death who support noise and are our, our, our first murderers uh, definitely check out liquid death please um subscribe to us on youtube uh, follow us on spotify or apple podcast wherever you get your podcast leave us a five star rating it would really help us out in terms of upcoming episodes uh, i am actually going to try and get an interview with earth tone nine uh, i'd really like to speak to him about the curation of uh, the new record uh, first one in 11 years so there's a decent chance that will be the next episode if not myself and sam will be back in two weeks time with another episode of 45 Five minutes of noise. I want to thank you for your time again, Sam. Uh, you have to watch the Euros. Yeah, man. Germany, Scotland. Let's go. Got two German players in my fantasy team. So, oh, you set up a fantasy fantasy team. I did. Yeah, yeah we knew it. I we did. knew it. Why do they even ask? Yeah, we knew. it's uh, um, uh, it's got Florian Verts in it and Rudy Gat and uh, Raphaelio and Kane and Mbappe. Bro, I should get like three hundred points a week. Yeah, that's got to be the that's got to be the team, right? Do you have yeah, a limited yeah. budget or something? Nah, 100 million, bro. I'm just like... 100 million and then Bappe won 93. Yeah, they're, <laughs> they're, 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 the budgets were pretty generous. Like Kane's like 11 million and Bappe's like 10 and a half. I'm like, wow. okay, cool. Yeah, that, cool indeed. That sound soon. <laughs> Co come on in. Come on in. Mr. Lewis, I shall see you tomorrow for Foo Fighters and to the rest of you listening, we will see you in two weeks' time or before that if I do manage to get into the Earth Town 9. Thank you so much for listening. Uh, we're going to be back in two weeks' time. Take care of yourselves. Goodbye. Goodbye.